What's up guys, I'm Lee Williamson and today do I have a cracker of a tutorial for you. I have figured out how to model a pencil inside of Cinema 4D. You'd think it would be easy but it's not as easy as I thought and it took me a lot of time to figure out and yeah I'm gonna make it easier for you. So let's dig in. All right, let's show you how to model a 3D pencil. So we're gonna start off with a cone and a cube. Move that cube up a little bit. And you can see the cone underneath the cube. We're gonna get a bull object. Yes, I know, a bull object. Ooh, modeling with a bull object, bad news. So we're gonna cut out that cube from the, um, the cone from the cube. And then we're gonna create a, another bull. Okay, and we're gonna create a cylinder. So we're gonna drag in that bull into there and the cylinder into there. And boom, we have a pencil. Press NB on your keyboard to see the subdivisions. Now for that cylinder, I'm gonna turn that cylinder to six sides because that's how many a pencil has. And over here you can see the shape starting. And now I want these uh, sides to only have, let's say four on each side. So that's four uh, in each one and there's six there. So that would be 24 segments around here. So I'm gonna go and change the, the cone to 24 segments. So it's a neat typology all the way around. I'm gonna select all of it and I'm gonna, um, what do you call it? Make editable. That's C on your keyboard. Select the whole lot. Right click and go to optimize. That should make it all stick together. Then I'm going to choose um, my edge tool. I'm going to select all these edges here. These horrible edges that the bull created. The bull, the bull. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Buell. Bull. And now all of them are selected. I'm going to MN and that will dissolve all the faces. Right. And now we need quads. So, you know, there's a quad has four sides and all these cuts don't um, match quads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my side view and I'm going to get my knife tool and I'm going to make sure that that's selected on to uh, turn visible only off. So when I pull a knife down here, it cuts down the very opposite side and the front side of pencil. So I'm literally going to just take this knife tool, hold down shift to keep it straight. And I press spacebar to undo it again, the spacebar again to start it. Cool. So now what we should have is perfect quads all the way through. Hair raising, what the heck is this? So we're gonna fix that one straight away. Um, just make sure we optimize that. And we're gonna click on all these faces here. And we're just gonna delete that and then we can press UL on the keyboard. Make sure it's on your uh, edge tool and click all the faces and then press T on the keyboard and hold down control and scale in. And then fill that selection with a polygon selection tool. At least now that's neat on that side. Cool, and the next thing is we don't need all these little rings over here because they're just going to mess with the fong shading. So I'm going to uh, UL, UL, try that again. Boom, 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 MN, dissolve them all. And I'm going to add new ones in. So I'm going to choose, um, actually, no, let's just first, what should we do first? I would like to put a bevel on this. So if we press UL, we get that selection over there and selection over there. 
and then we're just gonna choose each corner right so all those are selected and then we're going to take our bevel tool and we're going to bevel out uh, let's just put it on offset of one and subdivision of one so when you click off it there we go so now we should be beveled on the edges and all the corners Cool and happy with that. Now, if I press N A on the keyboard and click off this, I just want my font shading to be um, a little bit neater up over here. So now you don't really have to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. So you can bring select and then press M M and then M M again. And that should just make some neater polys over there. Now the next thing to do is we want to create uh, the, the pencil tip. So we can go in and choose a cylinder, scale it down by pressing T on the keyboard. Let's just decide how big we want this pencil tip to be. Let's keep it relatively thick. Okay, cool. And be on my keyboard to see my edges. And I'm going to make this hmm, um, eight. Yeah, I think eight sounds like a good number. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my caps off and press C on my keyboard, break it, select it all and optimize it. I'm going to choose my knife and I'm going to make sure it's uh, invisible only is still off and slice across it like that. Boom. And then UL with my face selection tool, delete the lot. Uh, the reason I want mine to be at an angle is um, my dad is, a, is an engineer, he used to be a draftsman before that. And I don't know, uh, they always used to use um, Stanley knives to to sharpen pencils rather than a pencil sharp and I always love that kind of a uh, been cut with a blade look so I'm gonna fill in that end of the polygon and then go back to my loop cut tool click visible only because I don't want to, to cut everywhere on here just on the parts I wanted to cut so I'm gonna put one through here and one through here. And what that does is it creates a perfect quad. A quad has four sides. Ironically enough, the same name of my dad's company, quad. Hmm. Um, and then I'm gonna select all the faces and then hold down control and just unselect these faces on the top. And then I'm gonna go to bevel. I'm gonna bevel out again should we just do one one again? Definitely not one one. Yeah. Um, tell you what, let's keep the subdivision. Subdivision of one. Cool. Cool. So now I have my pencil tip. That kind of gives me an indication of where I want to cut it out at the top of the pencil. So let's just call this pencil wood and uh, pencil tip. Okay. And then UL on my keyboard here. Actually, tell you what, let's solarize that. Get to loop cut there, perhaps. You will delete that face. Let's 
scale down the top and just choose face view delete those polys around there cool and then ul and uh ring selection press t on the keyboard scale in we go up a little bit and then scale in again cool i'm happy with that and then let's just bring that tip of a pencil in there and there we have a pencil already and we can then just let me just get my lasso tool out rectangle selection tool and we can just make the pencil taller maybe just want it to be a tiny little stylized pencil whatever suits you um if I press NA, we can just smooth out these lines now. We can just whack it all into a subdivision surface. So I'll create a subdivision surface and I'll put my wooden side there. And let's just put this on isotopes so I don't have to see all the line work. And then we can put the pencil tip inside there. Now the subdivision surface won't work when you've got two objects. So you have to put it inside of a null. So Alt G, let's just call that. Um, pencil cool let's see can we make this any better is the question I'm gonna take I might take away that um, ring selection over there I'm gonna turn my subdivision service on FN and now let's see if that sharpness has gone. I wonder if I just take them all off and then see what happens. MN. Still a little bit sharp. Uh, press Q on my keyboard to turn the subdivision surface off. And maybe it's just this um, this line over here. So I can use my slider tool. Just slide it back a bit. And A, turn off that. yeah i'm cool with that i mean really you can you can play around until your heart's to light with the way you want your uh pen to to look I mean, um mn i might just take it out entirely and let's just see what that looks like if it rounds too much at that end maybe if i put a loop cut on the inside of yeah maybe that would be a lot better There we go. So a loop cut inside there and a loop cut inside there. And we should have a nice, neat pencil. Yay. And uh, let's get it out of the ground there so you can see it. Boom. Now we probably want to uh, make the, the next part of it, which is cool. Let's try um, duplicating that. Open up a new uh, project. What I'm gonna do is just create a loop cut and uh, Take that ring selection and I am going to split it from the rest and delete that.
and then I might just want to go around and take away that little bit of beveling that I added originally. Painful to select all of this, but hey, cool. And then press MN and dissolve that. And then what we could do is UL, press T on my keyboard, and just scale that down. Cool. So now we have the shape. Now this is supposed to be the metal part of the pencil. We can just press T and scale that up taller. And ring selection, MM. So, okay, let me just show what I've, I'm doing there is I'm using this ring selection tool and then I press MM and it creates a, a cut in the middle of the uh, shape. And I can just keep pressing this and adding as many as I want. So I'm really gonna fill this whole entire shape up full of these loops and then I'm going to select every second loop let's try about actually let's go somewhere in the middle I take every third loop let's see how many we would have on a pencil um, let's say perhaps four and then I'm going to press T on my keyboard I'm going to scale them in Or do I want to use my bevel tool? I can use the bevel tool on subdivision of one. Try further little cuts inside there. And then I'm going to go inside each little tiny one I made. Press T my keyboard and scale in. Now let's just see what that looks like on a subdivision surface. Brilliant, that's exactly what I want. So now we have that shape and we want to duplicate that shape. So I'm thinking, why don't we take our, what do we call the square lasso tool? and delete a bunch of faces on over there. How many did we choose? One, two, three, four. And no. Four there. Cool, so now we've got four on the top, four on the bottom. And then we wanna duplicate this over so we can go into our mirror tool where are you mirror tool mirror tool and click on there not working let's change that to world view not working uh x z there we go perfect cool so now i have that same shape replicated over twice now that I look at it, I kind of want to take maybe two more off the, off the bottom of this. Let's try that again. There we go. Cool, I'm happy with that. So we should have four there, four there, four there. And let's just call this um, metal. Yay, metal. And we're going to pop metal back in here. And you can't see metal there. Let's just move it down a bit. 
Also, I'm just going to take this and um, set center to axis. So it's popped the axis in the center of my little metal gadget that I made. Now, first, you can, you can see that it's a, uh, uh, let's try NB. Press T on the keyboard and scale it nice up so we can actually see it. Keep scaling it. Cool, I'm happy with that. And we're going to select the whole entire uh, metal. And we can extrude. Oh, okay. So we have to create caps when we're extruding in. Okay. So we've just extruded in to so give it thickness. If I turn my subdivision surface off, what I can do is I can just use a loop cut now. Uh, over here and over here. Actually, you know what? I would just put a loop cut there. It should allow that to be a little bit more round at the top. Press Q on my keyboard to turn the subdivision surface off. And I'm just going to snap this somewhere in the center. You can hold down your shift if you want that snapping enabled. Cool. I'm liking that. So now we've got our metal base. And let's just add another cylinder. I'm going to be a little bit lazy over this one. I could just put my fillet on and um, scale down the pencil eraser directly inside there. Press T, scale it in until it disappears behind there. Is it totally gone behind there? There we go. Let's see. I was going to say, let's just make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to press N A on the keyboard to turn all those lines off. And there we have our own beautiful pencil. Yeah, for the sake of being anal, I thought I might as well add in some extra little bit of detail since we all like that extra bit of detail. So let's just call this eraser. And um, why don't we go back to that pencil tip over here? And why don't we add in a taper? And drop that under the pencil tip. Press fit to parent. And just tuck it in a little bit, about 40, and turn the curvature off because we don't want it curved. Here we go. And the next thing we can do is we can add a twist. I grab the side there too, fit to parent, ever so lightly twist it around. And then just turn these off so you can see what that looks like. And that just gives it that little bit more of a handcrafted uh, pencil that's been carved with a hand blade as opposed to cut inside a, a sharpener. See, whoop, boom. Right, I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. If you did, please like, share and subscribe as I'd very much appreciate it as all of these tutorials take me quite a bit of time to put together and figure out. So stay safe, take care, bye.